all know rock beats scissors, but can rock beat physics? Turns out, no. But a special group of rocks in the desert confused scientists for decades. Let's find out about the mysterious walking rocks of Death Valley. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. As if the hottest place in the world didn't have enough intrigue, in Death Valley, you can find a place called Racetrack Playa, a scenic dry lake bed known for its mysterious slithering stones that have been observed to have long racetrack trails scribed in the earth behind them, implying that they seem to move all on their own though no one's ever seen it. These perplexing moving rocks have stumped researchers since they first began to observe and study the phenomenon in the early 1900s. For a long time, no one could figure out how these boulders moved, some even moving uphill on their own, despite being upwards of 700 pounds. What mysterious force pushes these rocks along a dry lake bed? Could it be wind, ice, electromagnetic fields, aliens? I almost said ghosts, but it's almost never ghosts on this show. Some thought hurricane force winds blew the rocks forward through rain slicked mud, or floating ice sheets lifted the rocks and they bobbed along a temporary lake. These moving boulders were composed of dolomite, a sedimentary carbonate rock, and cyanite, an igneous rock similar to granite. These are the same materials that make up the mountains and hills surrounding Racetrack Playa. The rocks tumbled down during erosion and other geological events and settled atop the dry lake bed. But research results published in 2014 by scientists and cousins Richard and James Norris finally gave some answers. They installed a weather station nearby and embedded GPS tracking systems and rocks to monitor their movement on the playa. Then they waited for two years. One of the researchers on the project called it the most boring experiment ever. But I don't think so. It kind of reminds me of a procedural where the leading investigators are about to crack the case wide open. Here's what happened. The Norris cousins discovered these rocks moved due to the perfect combination of events. First, it rained over racetrack playa, forming a shallow pool of water in the dry lake bed. Then, temperatures dropped and it was cold enough to freeze the water into thin ice formations. The next day, sunlight touched the lake bed, causing the ice sheets to melt and crack to form large floating panels. Then, light winds blew, and the ice sheet panels began to float across the shallow lake, nudging the rocks and causing them to drag along the desert floor. Finally, the water and ice evaporated, leaving only the rocks and the dried tracks trailing behind them. The perfect crime, no evidence left behind. Except for, you know, the big boulders that magically moved and their tracks. It may not seem like a little ice and wind is enough to push around boulders that can weigh hundreds of pounds, but the unique conditions necessary for this phenomena can surprisingly all be present in racetrack playa. First, the lake bed needs to be deep enough for water to pool, but shallow enough for the rocks to stay exposed. The ice sheets, sometimes called window pane sheets, need to be strong enough to bother the rocks, but thin enough to freely move. And one freezing night has to be followed by a sunny, breezy day for any of this to work. The Norris cousins thankfully did capture one such rare sequence of events in the winter of 2013-2014, when a series of wet winter storms caused hundreds of rocks to scoot across the playa five times in 10 weeks. Some rocks etched trails in the earth over 200 meters long, and for context, the rocks only moved about two to five meters per minute. These conditions are rare, so sometimes the rocks on the lake bed may not sail for years or even decades at a time. While the research done by the Norris cousins answered some questions, a few mysteries remain. First, no one actually saw some of the biggest boulders moving during the study. Was that because there wasn't enough ice that year? Or does something else make those rocks move? Secondly, these slithering stones aren't exclusive to Death Valley. They can also be found in Little Bonnie Claire Playa in Nevada and the Altillo Chica Lagoon in Spain. But because of the lagoon's mild climate, it's rare for ice to form, which makes this almost scientist wonder, what if other forces are at play? The ghost theory is back on the table. 
At least until someone wants to spend a few years watching rocks to prove me wrong. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.